my blonde, curly and blue-eyed angel. My two-year-old boy today has turned into an undercover terrorist. We were walking side by side along the street, amused by cars, trees, dogs and bicycles, when we came across a supermarket. Before even realizing it, I was walking through the aisles of the store trying to stop him from taking all of the toys off of the shelf and putting them into the basket. At first, I saw a big tear drop, and then I heard a loud scream which became more and more hysterical as I picked him up and took him out of the shop. I felt lost. I was so embarrassed that people were watching his tantrum and shaking their head disapprovingly. This is not my child. What happened to him? What led to this frightening metamorphosis? Will this story repeat every time I go into a store? Whenever things become difficult, it's up to you to handle it appropriately. If you're not in control of the situation when it arises, your precious little angel may throw a temper tantrum, probably in public, until they get what they want. In other words, you will become a hostage to their wishes and desires. You might have heard others say that you're being selfish and self-centered and that you're not considering your child's needs for self-expression and growing independence. But we need to make sure we understand that correcting a wrong behavior, what in this case could be considered emotional blackmail, does not depersonalize your child. The opposite is true. I'd like to share some possible ways to handle a situation like this. When a young child, age two or three, behaves this way, it may be their attempt at expressing his or her needs and desires by using a method that is not proper or correct. Perhaps they are tired and the only way they know how to manifest it is by throwing a temper tantrum. Take into account what may be behind their behavior and frustration. What is important is that you don't allow your child to manipulate you by giving in to their demand for attention. If you comply and accommodate their misbehavior, you are teaching them that misbehaving is the way to get what they want. Don't panic. Calm down. They will not always act this way. If you don't react by giving in, your child will learn that this attempt at emotional control will not work with you. At around four years of age, your child is old enough to understand how to ask for what he or she wants, and that when you say no to their request, it is because you have decided that is the best option. As your child gets older, let's say at least six years old, you can require adherence to several parental rules. First of all, don't act before asking your parents for permission. Second, stating, that's what I want, it's not an appropriate answer. Third, ask your child to give you the reasons for their requests. I recognize this is often hard, especially when you're tired, frustrated, or stressed. But have you considered the alternative if you ignore their misbehavior or give in to their selfish requests? To begin with, the problem will not go away your child will not change for the better. And worst of all, your child will simply find other ways to manipulate you until you give in to what they want. If you don't take action, your child will learn that embarrassing you in public is one way to get you to do what they want you to do. As your children get older, their controlling and out of control behavior will get worse. They may become aggressive in order to manipulate and control the circumstances instead of learning how to solve the challenges they face in a positive way. When your child finally reaches adulthood, misbehavior will become bad attention-seeking behavior. What used to be childhood temper tantrums will now be angry outbursts. Now, 
when your children are still young and the problems are small. You need to be in control and teach your child the proper ways to express their frustration and anger. Ultimately, that is your responsibility and your efforts will be rewarded. If you have a question that wasn't addressed, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell below. See you next time.